What is going on, you guys? Dude, sorry, 3000 back here in another video. In today's video, I'm going to be doing a uh, die cast review on Dale Earnhardt's 1996 All Star paint scheme. This is the red, white, and blue cars. You can see it's the Summer Olympics from 1996. Um, also, before I get into the review, I just want to say I apologize. I haven't been uploading in a long time. You know, it's been it's been almost a month, I think, three or four weeks uh, since I posted like an actual uh, sit down video like this. So I apologize. I hope you guys have a um, you know happy Fourth of July. Um, I haven't been uploading just because one, I haven't felt like it. You know, I had a lot of stuff going on. And, you know, I've been kind of getting burnt out on YouTube, if you'd say, like, just a little bit bored of uh, recording. Uh, so, um, glad to be doing this video for you guys today, though. So, uh, without any further ado, let's get into the review. So, like I said, this is his Summer Olympics car from 1996. Um, I'm very lucky I got a hold of this car um, because I bought this car from uh, Mercari, the, the marketplace thing I talk about sometimes. And, um, the cool thing is it actually came with a lot of things. Like, it was like an Earnhardt bundle. And it came with, like, a little 124 scale hauler where you could fit, uh, 164 scale of cars in it. Uh, it came with, like, a stuffed animal teddy bear with, like, uh, in, like, a Dale Earnhardt, uh, fire suit. Um, it was, like, a beanie bear type thing. And then it came with, like um dale the movie with like all the bloopers discs like uh, there was like seven eight discs of movies and then it came with uh the espn version of dale the movie and then it came with like three um dale earnhardt mugs and i'm pretty sure it came with that well then it came with a um a little bear that was like I don't know how to explain, I'm not good at explaining things, but it was like a bear that was, um, it had an air gun and a tire and it was like taking the, um, the sockets out. So, uh, that was pretty cool. I got all, all that for, uh, $39. So, and the reason why is because, um, I could have went with the, the, um, Revell version for $20, but this is an ARC, which means the fuel cell opens the hood opens and the underbody is detailed whereas at a Ravel car it's cheaply made a little bit you know they cut some corners on some things like the the fuel cell don't open none of that opens and it just the the blue wasn't the right color like it just the underbody was a little cheaper made like how this one uh honestly these tires on here don't spin that great like it's a little tough to get these to spin right but um it being almost 30 years old i totally understand why but um the revel cars that would be independent where like you would spin it and only one uh tire would spin so it would be like they had independent um axles but this the arcs they um they both spin at the same time so that's a big one um not like that really matters but and then normally the underbody looks a little cheaper um where these are earlier arc cars um, by action so they are a little like they, they seem cheaper but this was the best you can get back in those days and then obviously they progressed and you know the 2000s cars were uh probably their peak like 2006 2007 uh, and then they got to the car tomorrow's where they were uh, really good. So, you know, they've had their moments. But back in these days, they were just kind of figuring that out. So let's get into the car. You got the the silver uh, number three with the blue outline there. That looks really nice. And then obviously the stars and stripes. Then you got a good wrench service uh, here on the quarter panel. Back then, they didn't have the Good Wrench Service Plus. It was uh, just Good Wrench Service, and you got Mom and Pops there. Uh, Snap-on, and then con Contingency Sponsors there. And then you got on the hood, you got the um, Summer Olympics uh, 1996 with the logo. You got the Chevy emblem, the Monte Carlo, little air vents there. And then on the headlights, you got the number three with the stars. Number three there, and then the stars. Other side, you got the exact same thing. Snap-on, Good Run Service Plus, or Good Run Service. 
uh, mom and pops, contingency sponsors, and then you got the red, I don't know if it's on this side, yeah, you don't know if y'all can see it, but it's like a red Goodyear, it goes really well with that. And then on the fuel cell, or the deck lid, you got um, GM Performance Parts, right there. Um, good wrench, what is that, Quick Lube, yeah, Good Wrench Quick Lube Plus, that was a thing back then. Chevy Emblem, and then on the roof, you got the roof flaps that don't open. There's a little scuff right there, but um, I'm gonna have to clean it off. That's I'm gonna clean this car off then, you know, put some uh, pressure brake cleaner would actually work pretty good on this, like to sc scrub off all the little like nicks and stuff there, all the smudges. Uh, half of those probably are for me though, from, <laughs> you know, picking it up and stuff. But uh, the underbody here is actually pretty cool how the steering works. Like it doesn't steer right. I don't know if, I think it's meant to do this because I see the springs, like, y'all can't see it because of how dark it is. Now, that's the thing. I'm sorry about how bad the lighting might look. I'm moving rooms, right? And so this is my old room. And all my lighting and everything I had uh, is moved uh, now to my, old, uh, my new room, which is downstairs. And so the reason why I'm recording here is because all my stuff in the background is here. And I just didn't get to moving that down there yet, so... If the lighting is a little bad, which I know it always is, but if it's a little worse than normal, uh, I apologize, that's why. So, the steering, it's like it goes in more. Like, I'm not breaking that. That's that's how far it goes. It goes to there. Uh, most of the cars don't do that, but I guess back in these older days, it did that. And the steering rack is a little bit different there, as you can see. It, it just, it's a little stiffer, which... Half of the stuff like that, I can't tell if it's just because of the person that had it before me, what how good care they took of it, or that's just how the car was back there. So I can't really give you a you know good review on that part of it, but um, I can give you a good review on the general car. You know, you see the transmission with the exhaust pipes there; it's pretty cool. Now let's get into the hood detail. The hood actually opens very far on this one. You know, most ARC hoods or even hoods in general, only open to about like that much, maybe about there. This one opens like way up to there. So this one is actually pretty good. You know, you got the Atlanta Summer Olympics 1996 emblem with the stars there. The hood, the engine detail is actually really good on this car. Uh, I really like it. You know, you can see the, you know, the engine fans, the radiator, all the engine, all that. Um, now moving on to the deck lid, you can see the fuel cell, the fuel cell detail ain't that great, if I'm going to be completely honest, but, you know, back in these days, it, you know, that didn't matter much, and honestly, I don't really care, um, I'm just happy I got this car, you know, that's what I was scared, because the person that I bought this from on their, the, you know, the marketplace thing, the only pictures they had of it was like this, you know, it was just one side, and then I think it was this side, so it didn't really tell you the it nobody said told me the hood opened, deck lid opened, or even that it was an ARC. And so I basically had to do a good amount of research on what the cars look like and I kinda it honestly got to the point where I had to look at okay, the Ravels, the window net is black, on the ARCs the window net is red, and then the the type of blue it was, I had to kind of research and all that, so it took me a good amount of time to get this car. I've been wanting to get this car, but um, it's fitting that I'm reviewing this on 4th of July. So yeah, um, pretty sure I mentioned it before, but I hope you guys have a good 4th of July. Um, I'm having a pretty good one right now. So um, yeah, um, I have uh, other cars on the way. I actually just ordered on the same website for $20 free shipping, a 2009 Kyle Busch uh, 124 scale die cast. So, uh, that's an ARC as well. So, that car should be coming soon. So, I'll have that reviewing. And I also picked up um, a Dale Jr. 1999 Super Superman uh, AC Delco car at uh, Flea Market for $1. So, you know, I'll be reviewing that car pretty soon. So, hopefully I can get these videos coming out to you guys. Again, I'm sorry about the lack of uploading. But, um, you know, I'm going to get out of here. I hope that review was pretty good for you. And I'll catch you all next time on this channel. Have a happy 4th of July, y'all.